So a lot of people have been asking me, how did you get job interviews after graduating? How did you get a job in pharmacy? It's saturated, like what did you do? So in this video, I'm gonna talk all about it. I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society's standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. Looking into jobs, I would say that my job search process started after my first year of pharmacy school. Don't wait until you graduate to start looking for a job in pharmacy because, you know, as you know, saturation is a thing and not even just in pharmacy, but just the job market in general in this country um, is not the greatest. So it's so important, so, so very important to make sure that you are expanding your resume, your CV from day one. When I first started pharmacy school, like the first year, I kind of wanted to figure out, you know, my schedule, my study habits, like how I was going to incorporate both work and school. So I just stuck strictly with studying and focusing on school. When I came back home after my first year of pharmacy school, I was like, I really want to like, you know, work in, in the hospital setting. When I came home, I applied to my local hospital. I can link the video here about how I got there because that was truly God. But um, I got a job as a pharmacy technician there and so I worked that whole summer. The next year I was able to get a job at a hospital and I was basically doing med recs in the emergency department and they also had an outpatient pharmacy so I would help out there. So I was like honestly killing two birds with one stone by getting both experiences all in one place which was amazing. My senior year, I guess you can say my last year of pharmacy school, I decided to move back home to do all my rotations like close to home and I reached back out to my bosses from the local hospital. I was like, hey, like I'm back home. I would love to continue working here. And so I did. <laughs> and that is the place that I work as a pharmacist now. So I share all of this to say is that it is so important to make sure that you get a job while you are in school and get a job in an area that you want to work in after you graduate because there could be a potential opportunity for you to work there. If your employers like you, if they, you know, see that you're a hard worker, they would want to keep you on the job. So that was like kind of what I did. And honestly, getting the job at the hospital at my school was because I feel like I had the experience of working in hospital back home that summer after pharmacy school. And I was really diligent about getting that job that summer. Like I reached out, I called the pharmacy multiple times trying to talk to the manager. I finally spoke to the manager and then I was able to talk to, talk to the assistant director and she was like, hey, we don't really do this, but we could use the help. So come on, come for the summer. And I loved it. It's so important to have experience. Like if you don't have job experience, it's going to be really hard to get into a field that you like. Of course, every situation is different. Everyone's story is different. But all I'm saying is that it is so, so, so important to have experience on your resume because some jobs won't even look at you. Like if you want a hospital position, they won't even look at you if you don't have a hospital position on your resume. Um, the calls that I got for interviews, um, they would even mention like, oh, I see you've worked here. So it's like you can tell that they're already looking at your experience. So if you don't have much experience, it's going to be extremely difficult to get a job. Granted, I know that a lot of students are focused on getting good grades and they really want to do all that. But honestly, when you graduate and get your degree, no one's asking you if you had straight A's. Just saying. Um, so yes, grades are important, especially if you want to do a residency, things of that sort. But also I would say equally important is having experience and working in a setting that you'd want to work in. If you want to work in retail, get a job in retail. So that way you can start to build your rapport. Like places really like, really look for people that have experience because they know that the transition into the job will be a lot smoother, 
hopefully. Um, so they're looking for that because they're just like, you know, what is the the quickest, easiest way that we can get this person in, get them acclimated and have the least issues. That's pretty much like what it boils down to for the most part. And that's like the biggest thing I, I would have to say as far as, especially with my journey, like I'm a workaholic. So like I work hard, like ever since I was in high school, I had a job. Like, I don't think there was ever like a time when like I was like not really working except for like my first year of pharmacy school. Cause in college I had a job in pharmacy school. I had two jobs. So like even now I have two jobs, like I'm just always working. So I was really able to like build my resume really early. And I know I share this in all my videos, but it's the truth. God is truly, truly amazing. And the biggest thing I would say is that wherever he needs you to be, that's where you'll be. But also don't forget to put in the work to get there as well. You know, the Bible says faith without works is dead. So it's important to have faith and trust that God is leading and directing you, but you also have to take the steps on the path that he has provided. So that's something that's really big. Um, if you're in pharmacy, I know it can be very discouraging. I was discouraged all the time when people would comment on my videos and share really negative things, um, not even like about saturation. Like I know that that's real and people aren't lying about that but people would say things like you're never gonna get a job like you're lying to people like all this stuff and I'm like you don't even know me so for the students who feel discouraged don't feel discouraged I hope that my journey and my testimony can really encourage you to know that there is opportunities out there however you just really have to set yourself up early to get to the places that you want to be so you know if you if you didn't have a lot of experience and you're kind of like your last year of pharmacy school and you're like what am i supposed to do there's residencies there's fellowships like these are things that you should also consider to help broaden your opportunity and your chances of getting a job after graduation so those are my tips it's very straightforward honestly work get experience if you know job opportunities are not available as an intern offer to volunteer at, when I've got my first job at the hospital I was like hey like I just even want to volunteer just to get my foot in the door and I think that's really important sometimes you have to sacrifice you know not getting paid but you know that in the long run it will pay off that's another thing networking is so important the pharmacy world is very small so do not burn bridges but all I can say is, is just that when you network, it's really about who you know. My county actually has a pharmacy like council group. I signed up for a membership and I can go to the meetings and I think it's so important to do that so you can get your face out there, get your name out there. And so yeah, so networking is something also that is super important and make sure that like you are being friendly, that you are putting your best foot forward because you really want to make sure that, um, People are seeing that you could be someone that they would like to work with. So any networking opportunity you get, take it. I really want this to also be a community where we can network. And I'm still working on like the details of how I want to go about that. But I'll share more as time goes on. Yeah, so those are my tips. If you have any other tips, comment below. Let's help each other out. I really want my platform to be a place where we can grow in community and help each other out. Um, I share everything with y'all, like almost everything. Um, so the whole goal of doing that is to really help you all out so that way um, you can be successful in your career. And that's what I would love to see for all of you. And I just really wanna be an advocate for pharmacy because if people really understood what pharmacists did, I feel like um, the climate of pharmacy wouldn't be what it is today. And so I'm a huge advocate for pharmacy and my goal is to encourage others to be an advocate for pharmacy because if we don't advocate for ourselves, no one else will. You already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving, and as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.